phase noise. Um, so ideal oscillators uh, will just generate pure sinusoidal uh, waves. Uh, if we will investigate uh, the frequency domain or the spectrum of these uh, sine waves, we will just uh, see uh, um, uh, deltas uh, in the frequency domain at the right frequency, um, and uh, all the all the uh, signal power will be really concentrated at a single frequency, uh, the up, the oscillation uh, frequency. However, physical um, oscillators have what we call phase noise, and uh, this uh, can be seen in the frequency domain as um, ener the energy is not really focused in the exact um, oscillation frequency, but there is uh, uh, an area or there is a range um, that the energy will take a, sh a shape of a skirt um, where the energy will be uh, concentrated. So it's, rather than being on a single frequency, we will have uh, a uh, power uh, or energy concentration that is uh, uh, reversely proportional to the distance from the center frequency. So this is the present representation in uh, frequency domain. In time domain, the same uh, physical phenomena uh, is called jitter. Uh, and uh, basically, if we uh, ideally um, expect to see uh, an ideal sun, sine wave, uh, the jitter will, uh, will uh, actually introduce itself as, uh, as uh, uh, the sine wave uh, being uh, jittered or uh, non-stable uh, versus time. So it's more blurry uh, if, we, if we just uh, uh, test it on a scope, for example, uh, the sine wave will be a little bit uh, blurry and not really uh, ideal sine wave. So why is uh, phase noise uh, important at all? Uh, let's just uh, look at uh, a simple example. Assuming that we have a local oscillator um, signal which has some phase noise, and uh, let's uh, even assume that we have uh, the information at our frequencies is, is more than one frequency. We have a strong signal here and maybe a, a lower signal here. Both are uh, um, important for us, both are data. Um, and if we do a down conversion to uh, an IF uh, frequency, uh, we may find that we get the strong signal but the weaker signal uh, may be buried under the skirt of the uh, original LO signal, uh, or it's actually buried in the phase noise. And that's why we would like to minimize phase noise, because we don't want to lose data. We don't want to lose this uh, um, RF uh, information when we down convert.